And welcome back to Hannity. My next guest has conducted an Obamacare investigation and is releasing the details in a new op-ed, the most shocking of all. In the three and a half years leading up to the Obamacare launch, President Obama held zero, zero one-on-one -on -one meetings with his Health and Human Services Secretary, Kathleen Sebelius. However, Obama's calendar listed 277 private meetings with other cabinet secretaries. So why didn't the president make time to meet with the person tasked with implementing his signature legislation. Is it possible? Here with the details, President co-founder of the Government Accountability Institute, Peter Schweitzer, is back with us. Sir, all right, now, is it possible, I know you looked at calendar records, 277 one-on-one -on -one meetings with other secretaries, zero with Sebelius. Is it possible that it's just not recorded, but it happened? Uh, it's certainly possible, but that would be the only cabinet secretary that that applied to. Uh, what we did, Sean, is we looked at the official White House calendar on whitehouse.gov. We, second of all, backed it up by looking at the Politico calendar of the president's schedule. And then third of all, we looked at the White House visitors logs, which show that Sebelius went to the White House. But on every occasion, it was for a social function with dozens or hundreds of people. There are no recorded meetings except for one in April. April of 2010, where she and Secretary of the Treasury uh, Geithner met with the president. But that's more than three and a half years ago that they had any kind of small meeting together whatsoever. Wow. Have you, uh, did the government, did Jay Carney or anybody give any response to this yet? I know you tried. Yeah, no, no. There's no been no response from the White House. You know, their position, I think, right now is, is, is pretty difficult because uh, the outline and the launch of Obamacare has, has, has been a disaster. So to a certain extent, they're, I think, leaving Sebelius out there to kind of dry, hang out on her own. I agree with uh, which you. I think fr which I think, frankly, is a little bit unfair. I'm not saying she's done a good job, but certainly one would expect that, you know, the president of the United States, this is his signature domestic policy. One yeah. sixth of the entire U.S. economy is being reconstituted under government control. You know, and he can't take the time for a meeting in three and a half years with the person implementing it. That, that's really pretty shocking. I never agree with Robert Gibbs. He said it's inexplicable that not one person or a number of people have been fired here. I, I think it's for the reason you said. She's taken, all, she's taken more of the heat and he's using her to absorb the, a lot of the heat on this to protect himself. I think you're right. Yeah, and, and here's the reality, Sean. You can look at any president, George W. Bush, Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, Bill Clinton. You look at their calendar and you can see what's important to them. Even if you don't know anything about what was going on at that time, look at their calendar and you'll see what their priorities are. Uh, in the case of President Obama, if you look at his calendar, there's no evidence whatsoever that he is focused or has much interest in health care at all. Great investigative work. We're going to continue to follow it up and see if uh, one of the White House uh, correspondents asked that question. Thanks, Peter.